All right, so um, I'm going to talk about um, something that that um, um, that keeps on coming up, you know, um, and um, again, you're probably not going to want to kind of hear it if you're if you're one of those like you know very judgmental people. They were my friends, and you uh, know, I just went to the yard, and it doesn't really work for me. Um, um, and I want to, I don't want to make clear for, for somebody that asked me a question about something like that, or, you know, uh, um, or just, you know, I, I, I gave him, told me what was going on, and I, and I gave him, you know, what, what my guys were telling me to tell her, um, and then confirm, um, when they, if they take into one of these psych wars now, right, because what they're doing now is they're, they're in, and what they did to me, like, in Bradley Beach when I was there, two, two, two years, two, two years ago, for the, the entire summer, um, five times, six times, I think, after, after my ex-girlfriend, uh, Got me committed to a psych ward. I had a little check mark, and then every time a police would come over to the, to the usually to the to the um, my center because the person upstairs was complaining about the noise that I was making. But I was getting really upset about the uh, shit that was happening in my life. And, like, when I was slowly having things be pulled away from me. I had to get a lot of that shit out, and uh, and it did. Um, but every time the cops came, um, not every time, but but a lot of times, especially depending on which cops it was. You know, the mom of whom would be called out because I had a little, little check mark and she would come out and, and, and drag me, like, you know, she would go fishing and drag me back into, you know, first Jersey Shore, two, two days there at $2,500 a night uh, in bed, and then th- five days at, uh, at uh, Mammoth, uh, the Mammoth uh, psych ward, and $3,500 a night in Germans. Every one of those times that I was, that I was committed, I, there was no reason for me to be committed. I was upset, sure. I didn't, but um, they they didn't make my insurance. And also, and also, as as a means to to uh, uh, see, I was telling somebody, you know, when you go in there, they 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 force feed you like this this medication, right? These pharmaceutical medications, right? You know. for anxiety or whatever else, the fucking they they they. they were, meanwhile, the, the, when you go there, the the the, the actual the actual uh, psychiatrist never examines you. Doesn't that it just it just they just look at the a chart of why you were brought in by the police, right? And they say, well, well, the wasarical well, would work for you, then. And and you know I I you know I had taken it once and. Uh, and and I was like, oh my god! It's like it's like it's heroin with no fucking with no no fun at all, and uh, and it just like knocks you out for twelve hours, man. You like you fucking like, like a zombie. You feel like a zombie. I literally felt like oh my, every little bit of my creativity was just being pulled out of my body. I said, no more, doctor. I'm not taking that shit no more. I'm sorry, you. I don't. I don't want medications. I'm. I'm. I'm shaman. I don't. I only use plant medicine. I don't use any pharmaceuticals. I almost died from from uh, you know Guillain Barre syndrome from a flu shot. You know what? And I can't. You know this is a you know, pharmaceuticals for me. Thank you. Oh uh, well, Mr. Euster, we we feel that uh, uh, you you know you, you you if you do that, then instead of the seven days, you're going to stay here fourteen days until you see a judge, and then let them decide whether you should take the medication. What? And if not, we'll strap you to a bed and inject you with it. What? No, 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 you ain't doing that shit. No, no. Uh, uh, either you take it or 14 days. I had nobody outside. I didn't have a, I don't have a lawyer. <laughs> I had one family member or sister that didn't give a shit about me. I said, maybe it's good that you stay in there. <laughs> And I said, okay, I guess I got to take the circle. So I, I strategically put it in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, but the first night it was just him. And then the other times it was the other, the other nurses. But it was him that he wanted to see me putting And and I got to see him. Okay, thank you, doctor. <laughs> doctor, doctor, fucking doctor, doctor meds. <laughs> Like the pharmaceutical meds, you work every, every, and they all work for the pharmaceutical companies. Get it? 
All the all the psych wards, they're they're out of the hospitals. They're like you know they're they're, they're you know they're sponsored and they're paid for and they're, and you know they're they're milked, <laughs> you know, pharmaceutical companies. And why? Because because when you go into a psych ward, they they said okay, so every day they would give me a, the pill. And I see other people are oh, uh, too strong, okay, a little bit a little weaker for a little weaker, a little a stronger dose for you. You don't feel it, okay. And they can, they can keep you there for an relaxed extra week, just trying to get the medication just perfect for you. So you walk out going, hey man, thanks very much, doctor. Now I realize, you know, everything that was going on was just wrong. And now the medication, I, I'm no longer an activist. Now the medication you gave me is making me feel just like really calm. <laughs> so you're, you're, you're lab rats for them because, because of course I went in there, uh, there and how many how's the how's the medication every time you have to see the fucking guy um, and how's the medication he goes oh it's fine now yeah so do you need a, no 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 I think this is a perfect dose doctor it just goes right into, into my cheek and then I go to my, my room and I spit it out in the fucking uh, in, the, in the toilet but I haven't told him that all the way to the last day like you know oops. <laughs> last day and then of course I'm like <laughs> fuck out of here man now, I was talking to this girl that, that happened to her too, and, and I'm trying to explain to her, uh, and, and I, I want to do it in this video because, because um, you know, she's saying, oh, well, the medication, you know, sometimes you really need the medication because, you know, stop it. Stop letting, you understand that COVID was caused by their fucking, the, the side effects of their medication? That they, they, they did not, they did not fucking, uh, let's see, test properly for? Do you give it, do you understand that the pharmaceutical companies are fucking, what, they're profiting off of something that should have been free? They've taken so a, a, like a, a a a let's see a a, a remedy or, or like or something that you know in a plant medicine that that happens to help and take that and like strip it out and, and make it a pill form so they can make a profit on it. And then they go through all these different things and they don't they don't consult the spirit world like the shamans did you know. They just did. They figured it out, and they just get and profit, profit, profit. <laughs> oh, those profits have what side effects. Curses, markets. Keep on taking the pharmaceuticals. You, you, you understand why this civilization is, is like at this point. Twelve years ago, I was in Occupy Wall Street. There was one day there was a hundred thousand people in Manhattan, in Manhattan, fucking protesting money and all that shit. Twelve years later, <laughs> what? Where are they now? Yeah, I take it to Sarah Bruno. Yeah, I this is so much better. I'm not here. Or oh, boo boo. Yeah, yeah. Let's go home now. <laughs> Oh, uh, I don't want to do that anymore. It's better we would just protest from home. We should just vote. Yeah. So, so I was trying to explain to her, like, don't, oh, yeah, but they, they can wean me myself up. I raised, she's an activist, and I can already tell her in her, in her, in her, what she's been taking the fucking, whatever they gave us, and, and there was a girl in there. I was telling, and I already can tell in her voice that she's losing the activism because that's what happens. Gilling the Bay Syndrome took away my activist voice. For fucking eight years, man. And I got it back just before COVID. And then all of a sudden it's like, I'm slammed. I'm the homeless. I'm everything that, that you know, that the, you know, get him out of here, man. He'll die in the fucking tent like the other ones did. And she rip away everything from him. So, uh, um, so I'm trying to explain to her, don't, don't, try not to take it, because it, it does it. I can feel that one day, the one time I took Seracol, the one fucking time I took it, I felt my fucking creativity being ripped out of my fucking brain. Do you understand what it does? Those, those, those psych meds, those meds that they give you are made to make you nice and calm. You know, so then they, then they say, oh, you have bipolar, you don't have an activist, but no, 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 you had bipolar disease. That's no activist, bipolar, okay? No, 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 you weren't, you weren't voicing your, your, your anger and frustration. No, you're, you're bipolar. Ooh, take the pill and go away. When I was that first time that I was there in Monmouth, I was fucking shocked how many fucking people were there. Almost every bed was fucking taken up by people, right? Huh? Huh? By people that shouldn't have been there. But they got a little thing going with the police. And it's like, you know, oh, you bring them to us. You only spend one night in jail and they're fine. But you take them to us, we'll get them in there for seven days, the judge says. Hey. And all the beds will be filled. So I was telling her, like, you know, you know, since Dr. Martin Luther King, right? And, 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 uh, 
Malcolm X, right? Who has their brain? Well, I mean, they, 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 John Lennon, what was the guy? So, and then the, the Bob Marley, what was the guy? So, Peter Tosh, what was the guy? So, who has their brain? You know why not? Because they either put him in a cage, right? <laughs> they, they frame him for some, yeah, he's got yeah. yeah put, put the, put the two thousand dollars worth of freaking cocaine, put it in his fucking car, we'll stop him, we'll fucking kill I didn't, I, that's not my, yeah, 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 right, buddy. We'll frame him, stick him in a cage. <laughs> well, 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 <laughs> we'll commit him, stick him in a rubber room. <laughs> Glenn, that's Sarah cool, man. Double dose of that. They don't, they don't knock the activists out of them. Or they'll just have an accident, poof. <laughs> Maybe one of those flu shots, you know? I met some, some very, some very pissed off people in there that were just like me that I was taken into the I was fucking held up well you know come voluntarily if you want to come voluntarily or we'll come involuntarily have handcuffs come on my kid come and you will you'll, you'll sit in the ambulance instead of the police car <laughs> and they and they and and they they kept me there now now there was a, there was one 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 young woman that I met met um um and she was really pissed off and she was, imagine like, she was like a female version of, if you combine Dr. Martin Luther King and Malcolm X together. Because she had the, 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 the smile, and I know she's the most pissed off. And she was a woman, and she was really pissed off. And she was like, I'm going to get the fuck out of here, this, and I said, hey, I'm, me too, I'm trying to get the hell out of here. They said fucking another five days here, and if not 14, I know, if I don't want to take that fucking med medication. Bah, 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 bah. So she started getting fucking pissed off, and she watches. And then she, she started going crazy, man. She started, and she even went out of me, like, like, well, she thought that was gonna fucking rile them up and then get her out. And then the next day, and I had some really interesting, good conversations with this woman. African American woman. And, and for, for like two days, I did it there. And then, and then by the third day, or the second day, one, 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 one day we got to talk to her. And the second day, they, they, and because she did all that shit, and he strapped it to her bed and he jacked it up with all this shit. And then she was on it like in the morning and night. And I went to talk to her and she goes, what? No, nah, man, I don't know, man, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't, at the rest of the time that she, I was there, I wanted to try to talk to her right there. Try to find that, 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 that combination of Dr. Martin Luther King and Michael Lips in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a female form. I swear to God, if, go, go to, go, go, and there, there's fucking video of everything that I'm saying right now, that I'm saying that happened to me. In all those places, because there's video all the time. Go fucking check if you don't believe me. This woman was a fucking, they turned her into a fucking zombie. By the time she left, I don't know, by the time I left, she was still like, eh, eh man, I don't know you. I don't, I don't, I don't well, well, I, and then they like, bring me, see, she's got bipolar. She's like, I need some medication, because she was fine when I, when I talked to her when you brought her in here. She was just pissed off about something that, uh, that you know, something, so boyfriend did something and, and she fucking retaliated and stuff. And instead of taking it to, oh, she, oh, so she was gonna back, uh, the boyfriend said, oh, you know, she was gonna act, uh, oh, you know, kind of like maybe hurt herself and, uh, well, yeah, yeah, you're gonna hurt yourself. And you go to pissed off to the, to Jersey Shore and you're like, fucking pissed off, yo, get me the fuck out of here. Relax, Missy, take up the nerve, off. get me the fuck out of here. And you do that. Well, he's just too aggravated. Let's bring him to, uh, to, 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 to and you're like, and you're like, fuck, get me the fuck out of here, bro. Yo, why, why am I here, man? It's the first time I've ever been to a psych ward. In New York, they don't do this shit. They send you to a, if, if you're pissed off, you're an agony. They send you in a cage 40 hours and they let you out. Seven days. Psych ward. Forced medication that only took once. And spit the shit out. It has a curse. Do you understand? When human beings, shaman would go to the jungle and communicate with the spirits, and they would give them the three plants to put together for the tribe. Now, modern medicine had found that, yeah, they use these three. How do they find that? I don't know. But let's, let's, I, I, we, can, we can recreate it in the lab, you know, with, with a synthetic version, and then boom, boom, smack, smack, we make all the money instead of the plant. <laughs> 
And they, 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 they can't grow it. So they, you know, we will, we'll put a patent on it so they can't grow it. Make it illegal. And bam, bam, bam. Then you have the synthetic version. So it's so much easier to think it instead of like boiling all that stuff. You just think it feels the same thing. No, it's not. The plant has a spirit. That spirit is in every plant that you ingest. Any way, shape, or form. The lettuce you ain't spit on that. That's why you like it, it makes you feel good. You eat the, the meat, I, I, the, the, the slaughtered fucking lamb, you guys. Well, yeah, I'm feeling really tired, man. You look, yeah, yeah, you see, uh, salad left. Now, when it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a mind expanding, God given plan to allow tribal cultures to like evolve. <laughs> when it's those things that they made illegal, They have a really special spirit. That's the one that's supposed to help you evolve. It's an Alex spray painting of a monkey. <laughs> the, 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 the Neanderthal. And he has a little mushroom guy on his th- I think he's eating a mushroom. And a little mushroom spirit really whispering into his ear. Go see it. Alex Gray's picture. It's great, 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 great painting. Help you evolve. But you know, <laughs> the powers that be don't want you help that. No, just take the pill version. No, it's just the same thing. Ah, oh, my spirit smeared. Yeah, there's no such thing here. They would go to the plants and they, they didn't have all these fucking fucked up diseases and side effects. There's three pages worth of side effects. If a shaman were like, your spirit, uh, if I give this, then he said, no, 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 brother. Okay, if they go, oh, no, no, spirit's like, no, 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 tell them, give them, hold on, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put something down for you, and I'm, I'm gonna put it in like, in like, you know, in braille or something, you know, and they're fucking in tablets and give it to you, and so make sure they know that this, if you take the, if they take the plant medicine, all these side effects are gonna happen, bad stuff, boo boo, can't be worse than the actual disease, man, no, we didn't have anything like that, nothing, zero, Nothing like that. You know what we had? A connection with the spirit world that you don't fucking have. And because you don't have it, you take the fucking medication that they give you, and you have all these fucked up things happen to you, and this whole society is going into shit, and everybody's a zombie now walking around going, I don't know, I'm scared, I don't know, but what's on TV tonight, honey? And then you're, you're, they're walking you right into like, just like the sheep at the slaughter, they're walking you right into 2026 with your heads down going, it's going to be right, all right, all right, right guys, right, what? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be fine. Let's keep on walking. So good luck with all that. And this is the message for the, for the young lady. I'm going to send you this video. I, I was trying to explain to you on, on thing and, and, and I, I, I needed to be able to do this video because it, like this is like, it's my, 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 my. I'm channeling it, get it? I'm channeling that woman that fucking, that sat in that goddamn fucking thing. And, and she was so smart and so, such a good, I mean, I would have been out there fucking, I would have been out there with, a, with my drum fucking drawing behind her and she would have been fucking loud as shit. And you know what? I don't know what happened to her. Because eventually, because every activist has to go back to the fucking thing that they're fucking protesting against, they have to. Because that, after a while, just goes like, well, what are we even doing it for? <laughs> I mean, you know, you go protest and then a bunch of things that's wrong and then you just wait there, wait there, sit there into the, into the thing that's right, is in control. But you just got to say, the thing that's wrong brings in some fucking guns there and the, the police is like, the thing that's wrong is hard, but, but the thing that's right should be, no, 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 shut up, get, get up, get on your floor. Did you mason? Yeah, mason. <laughs> And then they send you, and then they send, and then they, you know, they send you, and then you, then you go, and then you go like, well, you going back now? Nah, fuck that shit, man. And there was activists that kept on going, but you know, yeah. I mean, Black Lives Matter is, uh, is understandable, but there's so many fucking problems in this working world, and all those problems will go away if you just remove money. That's why we were talking about Washington. That's what I was there for. I would say to fucking make people understand that I worked 25 years in corporate America for these fucking assholes, and I saw very well the programs that I built for them, how they were fucking raping every human being, and convincing you that that was so much more important, money so much more important than you. I was trying, and then I got sick. I tried again, and now I'm homeless. And now I do it on video, and I'm a tent. Why? Because in a year and a half, in a year and two months, 2026, December 21st, 2025, into 2026, you won't be around anymore. 
So I might as well just go for broke. Because you know what? I was supposed to help you guys. So a bunch of stars, he just sat down to help you guys. And you know what you did? You said, fuck you! Give him to the rich, stick him in a, in a fucking psych ward, and get the syrup up. Now shut him up! So, so I'm gonna send this, uh, don't get upset about uh, the way I, but see the thing is, when I do that, it's not me being angry, it's me channeling the anger of those people that, that you don't hear. That young lady that I talked to, I'll never, I'll never see her again. That young lady, she, she could be dead by now. Oh, with those things on the pills that they gave her. I might never see her again, right? And that's what you fucking people ask so was needed. Because she was a star seed, man. That was not going to always like my little, all the freaking really good guys that you make statues for and all this for, woo! They were killed by, by the people you still uh, give your give your life to and give your children to. Um, and that's about as wrong as you get. And <laughs> when you went and said right and wrong, that's about as wrong as you get. And going into 2026, I guarantee you, what's supposed to happen, I guarantee you. I, I swear to God, I was, my, I was Mayan and many, and Aztec and Incan. Um, what's going to happen in 20, you guys, what's supposed to happen in 2012 is going to happen in 2026. I know none of the travel cultures are telling you that either they don't know, but they want you to be real surprised. And my, 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 my thing, God, that's, you know, a bunch of us that come down and try to help you, but the chances of that, me beating money, who please, money put me, money took everything away from me, put me in a goddamn cage. And the garbage is up behind a supermarket right now, of all, of all things. If I gotta sit there, wherever I'm gonna sit, waiting for the 2026 app, I'm going back home after all this. I'm going back into it. There's a different story happening for all of you. Much different story. And it's, it's scary, so I don't want to tell, I don't want to end it here. I'll, I'll judge, I'll, I'll give you, I'll do another one of that one. This, this one's just for, for her to understand. Like, look, man, stop taking that medication. Don't take anything. Don't take any of that shit. Do you understand that fucking COVID was caused not by a virus, by, by, by the, by the pharmaceutical companies? Not fucking, I did fucking, I did programming work for Bristol My Script, Johnson and Johnson. Or clinical trial applications. I did them. I made them. I made them for them. I, woo, go look at it. Where's some ice cream? Johnson & Johnson. Clinical trials. That's what I did working for SND in New Jersey and for like two years, three years, five years, three, three, three years maybe. Oh, I saw what those clinical trials are. They're bullshit. And if they can push something out, ah, what's the chance of this? Oh, shit. What happened? Okay, I don't know. Can we make it a virus? They'll cover it up. And uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, sh uh, sorry, sorry, uh, Facebook don't or uh, so you would do. I was I said over, not not the other word. So you don't 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 take any more. Stop right now, because I heard I, you're very creative person. I even saw, I saw I I heard it in your voice. I heard it in even the way you were. I heard it. You accept what they're giving you. It's like, well, well, well maybe if I, I just need it for now and then eventually, because eventually, that doctor didn't even examine you, did he? You're a lab rat. And, 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 and they're, they're like the, the, the you know, and the pharmaceutical companies are, are testing their fucking medication on you, psych wards. That's why they're bringing them in. And all the head bringing them in, all the hospital beds, every bed in that psych ward was fucking full. I never been to a psych ward, but I'm, I'm thinking, after, what's the chances of that happening? Right like around COVID, you know, they don't want people to you know, put them there. Ching, 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 ching. And you make sure the medication is, is deep into their bodies. And then eventually, you, I'll wing myself up. No, you won't. And even if you do wing yourself up, it doesn't matter. It's already made a chemical change in your, in your, in your brain chemistry. And that is made, taking the activist and fucking hung the activist and took out this little wimpy person to, to, to go, to go, to, you know, to go lead, lead you now, from now on. You know? Oh no, I, yes, yeah, yeah. No, no, but, you know, I don't know. I, I understand. No, no, no. Understand? They're killing the activists inside every human being. 
And you know how they're doing it? By the pharmaceuticals you guys just love, man. Zoloft and Zeloft and, 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 and this bullshit and that bullshit and the other bullshit. Smoke some weed and relax, man. And make sure it's none of the weed that's sprayed with something. Just, you know, man, I naturally grown. There's a lot of other plant medicines you can use that'll make you feel a lot better than that, that and that shit. And they don't know side effects, man. Oh yeah, with the side effects burn brain cells. That's a lie. Oh well, you forget your memory. That's because meditation. Try, try, try smoking some marijuana and, and meditating. You want it? Because it makes you forget about all that other shit and you focus on the now. That's why the effects show to your memory, sweetie. It's not what they tell you. Because they want you to take the full version of it. So they can make a shitload of money on you.